In an earlier video in this Just Tips, I showed you how you can strip out the last four characters um, in a cell so that you can return just specific information. We're going to use that command or a similar command and, to, and also combine that with concatenate to automatically generate email addresses. In many companies, people use a standard format for creating email addresses. For example, I might take the first character of the first name and then combine that with the last name to create an email address. That's what we're going to do here today. We're going to do that by starting and putting our cursor where we want the, the email address to go. I'm going to use the FX button to start concatenate. So I'm going to go ahead and click FX. And under my most recently used commands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into text commands. This is a text command, and I'm going to select concatenate. I'm going to click OK. So for my first item that I want to bring in to concatenate, I want to grab just the first letter of the first name. Previously, we were pulling out characters on the right. This time, we're going to type in a command in this little dialog box. So I'm going to say left. I'm going to put in my first parentheses. I'm going to click on the cell where I want to pull that character out of, put a comma, and I'm going to type in 1, and then put in my end parentheses. This, you'll notice here, will return the first letter of the first name. Now for my text 2, I want to pull the information from the last name, so I'm just going to click on that cell. So you'll notice that now I'll be getting M. Wilson, in my third line, then, I'm going to type in my at symbol and the XYZ company and XYZ.com for my, whoops, there we go. And if I want to see what that's going to return, I'm going to click down here in text 4, and you'll notice that it's giving me the first name with the, the first letter of the first name with the last name at and then my company name. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to widen my box a little bit here and then use my skinny cross to fill that down. And you notice how it automatically generates an email address for each individual in my list by pulling the first letter of the first name, combining that with the last name, and then adding in the, um, the company URL.